Hi, my name is Chris Boehner with FLIR. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, FLIR's File Reader SDK and also some cool things you can do with thermal videos inside of uh, MathWorks MATLAB program. So today I've pre-recorded some imagery of uh, my face, a thermal imagery of my face, and twisting it left and right and, and moving left and right with my body. And I want to show you that uh, using the File Reader SDK and some cool algorithms in MATLAB, we're able to both recognize the face and then track the face with the region of interest uh, left and right. Now, chances are you're probably not going to be doing applications where you're, you're doing face tracking, but hopefully it gives you an idea of some of the powerful things you can do with thermal imagery uh, in regards to recognition of a target and then uh, tracking that target left and right um, as it changes uh, both in orientation and spatially uh, left right up down so here in the this is a real simple script um, we have the FLIR file reader SDK that we're using to read in uh, pre-recorded movie that I recorded HD imagery of uh, of my face and then we read in each frame and actually parse out the header data of each frame into a metadata structure that's already predefined uh, with set variables which is one of the real powerful uh, aspects of the file reader SDK which is a free download and makes it easy to programmatically read FLIR research IR files. Uh, we're then doing some conversions here um, as far as the, the type of variable and then we actually run a face detection algorithm here uh, that's part of one of the toolkits available in MATLAB and so uh, we do that and then we actually uh, grab or detect the face and then we're doing some displaying a, a rectangle around it once we find that face um, and then we display that frame and then now if we scroll down through the data we we take that uh, face we recognized in the first frame of the movie and then we're we're doing a tracking algorithm which again is a, a nice uh, tool that's available in one of the toolkits in MATLAB and you can see here uh, the tracker is uh, set up and then we do a, a while loop um, until we run out of data in the movie so essentially we we go through every single frame in this particular movie and uh, if there's a certain number of um, detection points from our initial face detection algorithm uh, then we go ahead and, and continue to to track track that that face and then if we lose it of course then then we lose the face. In this case, it tracks it really nicely. Um, so this sample code ultimately um, we'll, we'll be posting to MATLAB's uh, code share website, which you can also access through FLIR's uh, landing page at www.flir.com slash MATLAB. So let's go ahead and run this uh, program real quick. And so there it's open in the first frame of the movie. And then of course it detected uh, a face and then here's the um, while loop as we go through every frame within the movie and the little white X's are all the distinguishing points that it found during the initial facial recognition so now that it's run through we still have these windows open let me let me kind of back through it um, so here's the initial frame uh, the first frame of the movie uh, in this case it's a grayscale but it's definitely a thermal HD uh, image of uh, my face and then here's where we do the facial facial recognition and we find all those distinguishing points and then we use those points to track my face as I twist it left and right uh, so the orientation of the object that we're tracking and then um, as I move my body left and right we continue to draw that region of interest so hopefully this is really cool to show you kind of how you can um, use FLIR thermal cameras and data pre-recorded in FLIR's research IR software and then do advanced analysis uh, on that data. Uh, you could very easily also stream data directly from a FLIR camera into MathWorks MATLAB and be running the same algorithm on live imagery uh, as well. So a lot of cool applications of how this would deploy um, depending on your particular project. Hope this was helpful. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to FLIR uh, by going to www.flir.com slash MATLAB. Thank you.